All right, here we are. Hey, Maple, how are you? Good. How are you, Winston? I'm very good. So today we are doing a quick chat about a few things related to training to get you excited for the coming week and also to continue your success while you're here. What have you got to say? You wanted to raise a few things, Maple. What have you got? <laughs> um, I want to talk about our training attitude. Um, what kind of attitude you want to bring when you come to train here? Um, uh, Winston. Yes. What do you think? Well, when I you come to train, what kind of thoughts you hold in mind? What kind of thing you expect from the training experience? Um, well, personally, when I come in here to train, I try to um, take it easy, try to have a fun time, because I found in the past if I uh, get too obsessed with it or focus too much on certain outcomes and certain success. Um, I don't enjoy the process as much, mm. but if I come in to have a fun time and have a low-key attitude to just enjoy the process and train with some cool people, I seem to have a great time and then the outcome just ends up coming around as, as you'd want it to. So I would say it's something like a relaxed mind, but still push hard on the body. Okay. Yeah. Um, so been talking to lots of new client about how to create a steady uh, training routine to get some result. So I always say see two options. One is you're not pushing too hard, you're having fun, you just show up three sessions a week compared to you come, you want to hammer yourself really, really hard for one hard workout, one session a week which will bring you better results in the long run. Yeah, with consistency. Yeah. So that's the thing as well. Um, the my zone. so if you've got a high rate monitor, it's really good to um, see it and also work with it to help you to guide your intensity mm. because you can come in feeling like absolute trash and not be motivated or feel connected to the workout at all. But once you get your heart rate going, you can suddenly feel excited and you want to mm. push really, really hard. I've done this a lot of times mm. where I may have taken some time off or you've been ill or you're just not as intense with your mm. workouts. But then you come in and you get wrapped up in the moment. Mm. You push too hard and then it takes a long time to recover. Recover, yeah. yeah. Rather, than, rather than just taking it easy, scaling the weights back, working within your limits so you feel ready to come back the next day. I mm. think that's way more important, wanting to come back and train the next day. Exactly. Um, so... Um, I think I have a thought in my mind. I was thinking today morning, it's like, because I'm a girl, I love to buy new clothes all the time. Mm -hmm. So some days when, I, when it's the change of season, I try to organize my wardrobe, I realize I've got so many fancy new clothes and never wear it. But my basic every day is the basic t-shirt, the shorts I love because they are comfortable mm -hmm. and they are more uh, like, the money I paid, I got the value. It's more cost worthy. But I spent more money on some fancy, some beautiful looking clothes, but I'm not really wearing it day to day. Mm -hmm. The money I spend is just in vain. Yeah. So I try to, I try to buy less. So <laughs> on the notes. So, but when it comes to the training, come across to the training, I think it's the same concept. It's always the basics. Mm. will get you the result but how to make basics more fun that's what we've been doing behind mm -hmm. the scene in the program like um, this year in the open workout there is a workout deadlift and burby over the bar gotcha and I remember one weekend we did a partner workout we kind of tweaked a little bit same concept but uh, at wobble shadow run mm -hmm. and one person one round and everyone enjoying it mm. it's a big fun workout mm -hmm. And I, I got clients coming towards me. They struggle a lot in the open workout. They mm -hmm. never have fun. But in that day, they really feel, oh, it's a fun workout. It's achievable and I like it. Mm -hmm. So I think the basics, we have already been doing it day to day. And what we are very proud of our program is we make it so fun. Correct. That's great. I think the idea that you're talking about is we're getting wrapped up in the buying of clothes things you know mm. you get distracted by wanting the new shiny things mm. and I think that can happen with training as well mm. particularly with CrossFit 
So you can get good at something, but then you want to learn how to get good at it while you're under fatigue. Mm. And then while you're under fatigue, you want to get really proficient at that. And that's fine mm. to always have a goal in mind and to progress. Mm. But the reason why you want to train is so you can actually have a better standard of living. And if training is stressing you out or you're feeling like you're not getting all the little bits and pieces put together, just trust the process and give it time. That's what I think. Not to get distracted by the shiny stuff and the shiny workouts, but to enjoy the routine workouts that bring you great results and they're a lot of fun. That's that works great. for me anyway. Yeah. And back to that cloth metaphor, like all the basic shirts, basic white tees, they can be very stylish too. Mm -hmm. You put on a jacket outside, you, you, you just match it with something else. It could be a very shiny, outstanding piece mm -hmm. in, your, in your outfit. So never uh, undervalue the basics of training. For me, I think it's the consistency and showing up um, in a consistent way. Yep. Instead of work in a really, like, like what we say, heart trenched workout, like you, you, you got blood in your hand and you got injury on your, on your joints and you're like, while well, I'm doing that, I, I can't come back next day. Yep. And if you're more frustrated, you see people are doing more than you, they're coming more and you're like, oh, I'm actually reverse. I'm not progress. Yep. So that will frustrate you more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. I think that one of the keys when we program as well is that the fun component is something where you move from movement to movement to movement without being overwhelmed. Mm. So when I come in sometimes and I want to do a workout, I assess how my body's feeling mm. and then I will tailor the workout around those things and then we try to program in a similar fashion. Mm. So we don't overuse one area. So you can come in each day. Um, you're not bored, but the simple movements bring you awesome results. That's I think that that's really important. And we find that a lot of people, no matter what level you are, level one, two or three, how long you've been training for, if you get stuck in the process of just having fun, you will absolutely crush it. And another thing I want to say is everyone is on your own journey. From time to time, when you look at the others, you feel I'm not doing as much as the others, so I'm not as good as the others. But everyone has their own journey you don't know other people struggle behind the scene and you don't realize how much progress you are making by yourself in your own journey so um the great thing is we have a good community no matter where you are you come to a session you can work on your own progression and get great result but still you got that harmony of a community get all the support all the motivation mm -hmm. and on top of that you got coach to really coach you through the level you should focus on. Yep. So it's something challenging, but also achievable. That's great. Um, There's a thing I want to talk about as well with training and the success that comes from the hard work that you put in. Mm. And it's also about uh, when we're speaking of metaphors, there's one that I've heard that our success in life is similar to um, the thermostat on an air conditioner that we sometimes find ourselves the moment our bodies start feeling better and we start improving in our personal lives or relationships something happens some drama comes up and then we go back to where we were we go back to square one and we feel like i shouldn't have ever tried that i shouldn't have mm. tried to lose weight i shouldn't have tried that relationship whatever it is because you always bring back yourself to a level and you don't find that success that you thought you were going to have so people lose hope and they don't move forward so i think that um how do you break through that thermostat um, I've seen so many people, they start training, they start losing the kilos or they start putting on the muscle tone or whatever else it is and then they get sick mm. or some drama happens with the family or something happens in your personal life with your job. Very common. And then bang, you, people use that as a reason for why they should retreat mm. and go back to how things were. Um, that is the time where you're having your breakthrough. That's the time where you can reset your new thermostat to a higher level so your new baseline becomes that standard of success that you broke through to achieve. So rather than retreating when things become difficult, hang out there in that difficult zone and test yourself out, have the faith and the hope to stick at it and the results will stick, they will stick. And results take 90 days, it's 90 days, whether it's fitness, success with business or with your own life or with relationships, 
90 days, what you're doing today will show up in 90 days from now. So you've got to put in the hard work now and 90 days from now you'll see what's happening. So don't get too overwhelmed if everything doesn't happen at once. If you do a body scan one week and the next week it's been a minimal difference. Give yourself a solid 90 days to really see some changes in your life to reset your baseline of success and you have amazing success and you'll stick to the goals that you've set. I, I see that all the time when people stick at it. They have a breakthrough and it changes their life forever. That's awesome. I like it. I think when you feel it's getting hard, it's something potentially feel it's not working for you because it's very hard, it's, there's no result. It's actually a good time because if you feel comfortable where you are, that means your body is adapted to this new level. It actually requires new stimulus to keep you progress to the next, next level. If you're getting comfortable, the results, the new results never gonna come. If it's hard, if it's uncomfortable, you feel challenging, that means you're on the right track. That's it. Yeah. So that's what we try to say. You know, we set up these programs and these um, challenges and the way that we try to orchestrate your workouts is designed around maintaining that level of success. So, um, and make it fun. Yeah, make it fun. So that mm. way you can stick at it. Mm. So if you want to make exercise a staple routine of your life where it's a non-negotiable, it has to be fun. It has to be something that is routine in your life that complements the way that you live and that you smile when you finish a workout and you're ready for the next one. So I think for people who feel stuck, and we all do from time to time, is to always come to a workout and, and break through. Have a chat to a coach. Ask us about the challenges we can put you on and we can find a routine that will work for you once and for all. A lot of people, when I do consult with them, they say to me, I've tried so many different gyms. I've um, tried all these different gyms and I've tried to stick at it, but I just can't seem mm. to do it. The key factor or the differentiator for what we wanna do here is find a way for people to truly once and for all stick to their training and find it as something that empowers their life rather than is a burden like, oh, I've gotta train, I've gotta mm. burn these calories that I built up over the weekend, but it's just a fun expression of happiness in your life. And sometimes when things do get really tough, we're gonna to be there to catch you and help you to show you the way. I like it, can't agree more. Any other comments, Maple, before we sign off? Um, stick, not stick, but value the basics, value the basic white t-shirt because um, even by wearing a white t-shirt, you can be stylish. Even doing a simple look, a simple format workout, you can still challenge yourself to the next level. Mm -hmm. It's all in your mind. It's all in your idea how you're going to tackle it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I also want to say, like, for myself, you know, I'm far from perfect with my routines, with my training. Mm -hmm. My nutrition is getting a lot better. Um, but as far as uh, over the years, you know, I've tried to figure out ways that I can maintain consistency and try to implement that for other people. So the journey is the same for all of us. Doesn't matter how fit you are, um, how consistent you are right now. Everyone has ups and downs. Everyone's thermostat gets challenged. Everyone gets cool and gets hot. But that key that you're talking about is feel comfortable wearing that white shirt, stick to it, have fun. You know, these are the principles that we really try to um, implement here. So. Thank you, Maple. Thank you for your chats. And um, we will see you all at the gym tomorrow. It's going to be an awesome week. I'll be here. See you tomorrow morning. We'll be here. See you soon. Love you guys. Bye.